Hey, old people, what's good? I hope you're having a damn good day. Back with some FIFA. Welcome back to the channel, most importantly. And if it's not welcome back, hit the sub button. It'll be welcome back next time. Um, yeah, let's 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 address the elephants in the room. It's the competition. Yeah, it's it's not a competition. I I yeah. I I don't know what I was thinking when I typed competition. Um, it's basically you guys giving more and having more control over this team because this is going to be a four or five season career mode and basically you guys having a personalized touch because yes i've done it before where i've gone and said hey guys who should i sign and then you know we get a few things but like it's never really been okay yeah we're going to go sign that player because this person's wants it you know um it's it's more or less been uh maybe maybe not but now what i want is for you guys to drop names in the comment sections you know sign ben white sign billy gilmore sign augustine from the french league sign sign this person that person that's great i appreciate that that's just from the the last episode um and what will happen is on by random randomize it um one one person will be drawn out that player that they've suggested will be bought into the team. Um, let's make it realistic. I can't buy Ronaldo or Messi. Um, so they'll that player will be brought into the team, um, and we'll use that player. And hopefully, you know, it's it's successful. So this will happen at the beginning of every season. That's obviously when we have the most amounts of money. So we can use that sum of money to improve the team essentially. That that's that's the the competition. Um, just a clickbaity title, really get extra views. Now, without further ado, let's hop into to the calendar and see what we have this month. And we have a very big game against Sheffield United. Keen as green bean. Sheffield United, we're definitely playing them. They're a Premier League side, testing ourselves for next season. I know that they've been relegated in real life and so on, but they're still a Premier League team, and we're still going to test ourselves, see how good we can actually be. Then we're going to play Middlesbrough. Bruh. Um we're going to simulate Sheffield Wednesday because they're not actually doing that well. Um, I think they're like 12th or 13th in the league, which is which is great, but they're not actually that great. Um, then we're going to play Rotherham United, which people would be like, what the actual, bro? But the thing is, Rotherham United are 8th, currently 8th in the league. So, goes without saying, they're actually a good side. And then we're going to simulate against Huddersfield and end off the damn video. So... Let's hop into the scouting reports and let's do it. Alrighty, let's see here. Who do we have? <clears throat> Sorry. Who do we have in England? Uh, not Hog. Uh, not Story. Uh, nope. Nope. I see a 71. Okay. Anybody from Wales? Okay, so they're all shit. Okay, so all these youngsters are just shit. Okay, frustrating, but frust frustrating. But let's hop into the game and get this episode underway. Radio, we're here, FA Cup time. The stuff dreams are made of. We've all just seen Leicester win the FA Cup. Swamping Chelsea, really. Um, yeah, Chelsea Chelsea were, were good in that game, but like, yeah, they, they weren't that great. Um, we're going to try Lucas Burdett as a cam, and we're going to bring Cabango in. That's right, Cabango. Um, and also, we're going to put Joel on the bench. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Looks fantabulous. Yeah, obviously Gooey is suspended for the game. Radio, time to kick things off. Obviously, big test ahead of us, testing ourselves against a proven Premier League team. Um, big game, big game. But it's the FA Cup, the, the the competition where dreams are made, victories are won that should no, never have happened. So, can we make an FA Cup run this season? It remains to be seen, but I'm keen to do one, to be honest. So. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. 
Okay. Plays it in. Idar running in the box. Gets flippin' stopped like a bitch, though. Oh, good save. Good save by Woodman. I was I was kind of stressed there. I was like, uh, what? Nathan Taylor. Oh, almost gets damn well played in by Idar. But so far, they've had the best chance of the game. And we've not looked very comfortable in this game. Hopefully, we can gain some stability. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Very nice. Oh, my word. So we are playing Cabango and 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 Fulton together. I know I have said that combination is not the greatest at times, but yeah, we're 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 giving it another go. We're giving it another go. Oh yes, please, Corey Smith with a brilliant through ball, and Idar makes it one 0 to us. That was a goal out of nothing. I I was. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll hit it there. But that was a great, great goal. Good pass from Corey Smith. Ida just a step ahead of the defender, makes the run, beats the offside trap, and um, beats... Is it Ramsdale? Oh, no, that's not Ramsdale. I don't know who their goalkeeper is, but he beats him. And that's that's the most important thing. Great stuff. Yo, guys, we're, we're, we're doing it. Premier League team? Ha, got you. Time to kick things off. And we're also at home. So so we do have somewhat of an advantage. Ooh. Idar. Idar immediately. Oh. Bird plays in. Connor Hornahan. Great save, bro. What? And it came off him as well. That was... Oh. Off kickoff, really. Oh. Great save from the goalkeeper. Oh. Damn it. Corey Smith, the guy who's essentially got us the lead with that immaculate pass that he played, is going to get a yellow card. Okay, they have a free kick here. I think Sheffield United are pretty good with their, their set pieces. Yep, 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 yep. They're, they're, they're decent, they're decent. But Raheem Brewster, former loanee of, of, of Swansea, he took the free kick. That's a bit weird. Okay, go, go Idar. Plays a little one two with Oh, straight up the goalkeeper. Moore makes another great save. But it's 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 easier than than, than it what what it should have been. Good stuff. Good overlap. Come on. In the box. Come on, bird. It's all yours. Great back out. IU. IU's got a space. He lets fly straight into the defender and it's a corner kick. Wow. Okay, we are going to bring on Ryan Manning. Yep, yep. Ryan freaking Manning. Good tackle. Good tackle by our captain, Connor Roberts. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Go. Play it into Idar. Oh. We're, we're dominating them now. We're, we're literally piling on the pressure. And you would think that... You would actually think that we are... My word. You would think that we are the, the team that's 1-0 down. But we're not. No. Good sa good tackle. Great tackle. On a yellow card, he was like, Nope, I'm, I'm making this damn tackle happen. Now it gives Hunahan a chance to break here. Oh... Guys, we have a minute to go in this game. There's an extra minute added on. Come on. We, it's the last attack of the game for Schiff United. They're, they're going positively. But it's fine because they misplaced the pass. We're, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We take a dub. And we'll progress. Oli. Is it Oli McBurnley? Or Oli Mc... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Former, former Swansea player. But great win. Adam Idar, the man to get us into the next round. Radio people. Middlesbrough United. Um, yeah. Um, Middlesbrough United. We're playing them. They're 11th currently. Um, yeah. 
we're going with the full string side. Right here, guys. Jamal Lowe. I can sense that he wants to score a few goals after sitting out that first game of the episode. So he's keen as a green bean. I know you guys are too, because I appreciate you guys so much. But we're 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 gonna we're trying to go for a big dub here, trying to catch that first place team. Which oh, oh damn it! But we lose the ball. Oh yes. Fernandez, go! Oh my word! What do you mean, bro? Just improved your shooting. I'm convinced. Is he not left-footed? Because that's. He needs to score. What? I'm convinced he's left-footed. I need to check that. But this man better damn well be left-footed. Well, actually, no. He better not be left-footed if he's missed that. Otherwise, his life is not safe. Oh, Jamal Lowe. Jamal, oh, couldn't get there in time. And Bettinelli just damn near took my man off his damn rocker. Here we go. It's the overlaps. I love these overlaps. These overlaps are absolutely godly. That's a handball. Surely that's a handball. Why don't you go for something spectacular, like a bicycle kick? <laughs> a bicycle kick. Okay, that was a brilliant pass from, from Leonardo to to find our striker, Jamal Lowe, who went for the softest of headers. We need that Pep Guardiola-esque type schauser. Oh, my word. And Tavern rears. Num their number seven on the ball. He's done some voodoo shot. <laughs> What a save. Near post. Normally near post things don't work for me. Well. Oh my word. Oh, brilliant save. I even I even tried to take the man out. I was like, not a chance. Ooh. Gave me goosebumps. Somebody walked over my grave. Wasn't that man. Overlap. There it is. Who's in the box? I need a man in the box. No, too far. He went too far. He was just supposed to hit Jamal low on the noggin. Oh, great ball. Back post. Okay, not there. Surely that's a hand. Like these handballs. I haven't switched handball off. Good ball. Finds. Oh, Leonardo couldn't. Okay. Just absolutely... Tornadoed up the field, but we'll work it back. We'll work it back up. We'll work it back up. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought, uh, is his name Ben Benedetti? Bettinelli. Bettinelli. I thought Bettinelli was gonna damn well save it, but he didn't. Good for us. Yay. We we are one nil to the good. We've been absolutely thumping these guys. Destroying them, um, positions-wise as well. Um, Adam Idar, I th yeah, we are going to make that change for Adam Idar. Um, I think maybe he just offers us a little bit more at this moment in time over Low, who has kind of lost his form um, since you know that last episode. So, yeah, not bad. Connor Hornahane with a 58th minute opener. Let's go. We've been like peppering them, guys. We've absolutely been peppering them. So there, there's no reason why we shouldn't win this game. Okay, you you keep doing that. You keep doing it. Good stuff, good sir. Yep, yep. You you carry on. Okay, but this is where the computer builds up enough momentum that it damn well plays a great ball over the top. Connor Hunahane. No. Oh my word! What a save. That that was such a delayed reaction as well. <laughs> my bad. But. That was a great little bit of movement from Middlesbrough United. Okay, we, we are on the attack here. That just shows you how much possession they've had. Handball! Handball! Thank you! Hand freaking ball! Okay. Let's, let's just take all the wind out of their sails right now. With a brilliantly taken free... Excuse me... 
That's some BS. That, that goalkeeper should have saved that. That's literally past his fingertips. It's not even like he was diving. He literally stood and it was past his fingertips. Nah, man. They need to fix the penalties, honestly. Big ball played through to Caban... Cabeno? Cab oh, great tackle! Great tackle from Gui into the path of the striker. We are going to bring on Ryan Manning. But Bulasi... With a goal. Good stuff. Bird, you just run to the corner, my, my, my man. Kidding! Oh! The defenders make that tackle, guys. But this should be a comfortable 2 1 victory for us. Comfortable 2 1. <laughs> when has 2 1 ever been comfortable? But that is a, a good three points. And that is a one of those. You know, a W. We, we take dubs. And that's how we do. So, chappies and chapettes, there was a slight change of plan. Um, so I simulated the game against um, Sheffield Wednesday, simulated that game, we won it, and then I was simulating up until Rotherham United, and then what happened was the schedule got changed, so then it was, and then Rotherham United's game got moved to next month, and then all this was happening while it's simulating, and then what happened was there was another schedule change that the Rotherham United got moved, and then this game got put in place. But then the Rotherham United got simulated whilst this was all happening, and we ended up drawing against them. So, apologies for the long spiel, long story, um, but we will be playing Millwall as our final game of the episode. Um, so yeah, FA Cup dreams, FA Cup run, let's do it. Big time FA Cup run. Radio guys, obviously I haven't shown you the team sheets, but it's the full strength 11 They've had lots of rest, and you know I, I'm very serious about taking this this FA Cup run very seriously because I'm very serious. Good, oh my word, no! <laughs> that would have been a great start, the actual best start we would have made to a game. Okay, Bidwell whips it in back post, absolutely karate chopped out of there. One one ah oh, one back not well though. That was a terrible header from Grams. Okay, Leonardo. Leonardo takes on two men. Back post. It's it's always the. Will Phil Jones please contact your nearest Stewart? Well, is Phil Jones being damn well arrested or something? Yeah, he actually should be for stealing all that money from Manchester United. Ball in, over the top, oh, not high enough though, defender clears it. To Lucas Bird, takes it, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The fruits of his labor. He's he's worked very hard in this game, and we've absolutely been peppering Millwall. I know I say that a lot, but we, but you don't understand. You, you don't understand. And he took it with his right foot too. That's big plus there, big plus. Massive plus. Oh yeah. Leonardo Fernandez with a header that he's won and he's played in IU. Great save. IU! Oh <laughs> Thank you. I hit that pretty damn well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. We're, we're we're cool like that though, guys, hey? Yeah. We're we're pretty we're pretty cool. You know, we're 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 doing nothing. That chip though, that chip though would have been absolutely fantabulous. But fair play. So, are you big time goal? Fantabulous. That's 2-0. That that should be enough to send us through to the next round. Because we're a better team than, than Millwall, so. Very much not nice. Go, go, go. Oh, my word! What's happening? Good tackle there from Bit. Oh, good defense from. It was good defense from Bidwell. <laughs> this is just a bit of shots. Woodman gets absolutely wrecked, and Mahoney, I think it's Mahoney, scores. 
Not great. Very much not great. Jamal Lowe, born over the top. You know he's got pace. He's got loads of pace. 3-1. Oh my word. What a save from the goalkeeper. Wow. That's a great save. Stuff. Low. Low latches onto it. Shirley. Back in. Thank oh, he misses it, Leonardo. No. That is horrendously mishit. Low. Low's running. Ball in. Are you? Hits it wide. Okay, Idar's gonna come on now. I mean, it, uh, you would swear I'm down, but I'm actually winning. But I, I want more goals. Uh, there's not been many goals in this episode so far. Good tackle, yes, gain from Fulton. Adam Idar running in on it. Teller's also sprinting upfield. Got to reward the man for the run. Got to reward the man for that run. Brilliant. And that. You can see the hearts of those Millwall players in their throats. They're absolutely on the floor, bawling. And not, not money-wise. Tears. In case you didn't get that. Nice! Nathan Teller coming on, doing damage off the bench. He, he's going to be a great player for us, guys. Just hoof it up the field. Oh, that's a nice hoof as well. Adam Idar. Oh my word, Adam Idar runs in on it. Definitely game over. Definitely game over. Like, I was just trying to kick it up the field, and I was like, yeah, cool. Run down the time. Took a brilliant um, touch. Oh, great. Fantabulous. And that should definitely be the game, guys. That, yep, that's the game. We progress yet again. Who will we get next? Well, that remains to be seen in the next episode. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the smash like button if you have. Mad appreciation if you do. So guys, I have some great damn news. We've just signed a free agent for next season. Juan Mata from Manchester United. So obviously we do not have a uh, sense attacking midfielder to back up Leonardo Fernandez. But Juan Mata essentially will start. Because his overall is obviously higher. Um, at the moment, that is. Maybe when he gets to us, maybe it'll be a bit lower. But we have signed him to a, a one-year extension. Well, one-year deal, not extension. One-year deal. He'll be at the, the Liberty Stadium next season, helping us, you know, hopefully maintain our Premier League run. Um, or oh, helping us mount a Premier League survival against relegation. So that is the plan, the ultimate plan. Um, so... As far as deadline day goes, no signings will be made. I was looking to try and bring in maybe a a centre back because you know centre backs are quite important, but maybe we could have like nicked one because obviously Gui is going back to Chelsea and we don't have the thirty odd million to spend on him to bring him back, um, which kind of sucks because he is a great player, but. What can you do? So, yeah, we're just going to simulate the deadline day, and, and that will more essentially be that. So, yeah. So, guys, that will be that. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and don't, don't forget to comment down below who you want me to try and sign as your signing, your potential signing, the end of next season, well, beginning of next season. So, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys just have a smashing damn day.